Hey, there we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I think it's been, like, what, a month? Maybe longer since I did a proper gameplay video? Oh, no, wait. No. No, I did do, uh... I did do a couple for Black Mess Wukong, which I will get back to eventually, but right now... We have something a little bit more important to do, because... The episode Igus DLC for P3 Reload finally dropped, and I finally got my internet and the DLC itself to actually work. So we're gonna play it. I'm so excited to see. Oh, oh, that's right. They made a new opening. Ah, Makoto, don't go. Makoto, come back! There they are. The fam. Oh my god, the doors. <gasps> there she is! Menace! Hi, honey. I missed you. How long has it been? Like 20 years? I mean, for goodness sake, Metis hasn't appeared in anything since the answer in P3 Fest. So this is the first time we're seeing her since then. And when did Fest come out? Like 2007? Oh, his headphones. Oh, oh God. Ah, oh, the door! Oh. Ooh. Oh my god, Erebus looks so creepy there. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to that boss fight. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to those boss fights at all. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... I'm so scared. But excited. Scared and excited. <gasps> there they are! Hey, there she is, right up front! Let's go! Okay, so let's make sure we got the language on English. Vibration off, please. Subtitles on. Okay. I think we're good. A portion of your existing save data can be carried over when starting. By carrying over save data, you're able to use any costumes as well as your Persona Compendium. Note that Persona Compendium data won't be able to use it on the highest difficulty heart. Well, I'm definitely not playing on the super hard difficulty right off the bat. <laughs> I'm letting you know that right now. You will not be able to carry over save data later or redo the carryover using a different save. So, <laughs> Okay. Carry over. Yes. Oh god, uh, which one do I use? Okay, so this one is... This is my endgame save file. I, I played the main story again, by the way. I just recently finished it, like a week ago. <laughs> About a week ago! Um, this is my Shinji save file, uh, for whenever I miss my boy. This is my endgame battle save file, so this is right before the final battle. And then this is after the final battle in the epilogue. This is my clear data from two different playthroughs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one. Starting new game with save data cleared over. Okay. Now do I wanna play on easy or normal? The thing is, is that recently, on my second playthrough, I actually played through the game on normal instead of easy all the way through, and I didn't actually have that much trouble. It might have also been because Makoto was level 99. That was something weird that they did in this game that they didn't do in Royal, is that at the start of the game, Makoto was already level 99. That's such a weird thing to do, you know? Like, I would have, I would have been okay if they had started him back at level 1. Maybe that's why it was so easy on normal, because I just had Makoto nuke everything. And at the start, when the other party members were kind of squishy, they were just, like, leaning on Makoto as a crutch character. Um, 
I'm gonna go for easy for now. And I'll probably go back and play the, um... The, um... What's it called? Play the answer again on normal on my second playthrough. Oh god. It's the abyss of time. This ordeal. It may be that we brought it upon ourselves. Hi, I guess. <laughs> Metis! Damn. Look at her go. She's like, sorry, Sonata. Flashbacks. There was little we did understand. Let's go. We didn't know how to use the key to unlock our future. I'm so ready. Let's go. I'm excited to see all the new stuff with um, Metis, because I say I think I saw that they uh, they added in some hangout events so that her character could be better developed. March thirty first. Oh boy, here we go. Cello. <gasps> Fuka! Hi, sweetie. Hello? Hey, Yukari-chan? It's me. And she's wearing her cute sweater. Um, are you coming today? Oh, um, didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know. I already left my stuff at the dorm, so there's no need for me to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but... Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, break's almost over. I gotta go. Mm. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? Hmm... Yukari. <sighs> Yukari-chan's not coming after all. Sonata-san said he'd be training at the gym, so I don't think he's coming either. I can. And what is up with those two? Trauma. Grief. This is the last day we have before the dorm closes down. Yeah. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they want to see it off together, you know? Oh, Coral. Don't cry, baby. It is what it is. <laughs> Everyone deals with things in their own way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, that phrase has only taken on a different connotation because of modern day vernacular. But the fact that Mitsuru said, it is what it is, is just <laughs> it's so funny to me for no reason. It's up to each of us to choose our own path from here. We can't deny them that. Yeah, I know, Mitsuru, I know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mm. Besides, I can hardly blame them. I wonder how long this is going to be. Things have only been getting busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I may not have made it here myself. Let me like 30. I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to give an estimate right now. I'm going to guess like 30, 40 hours long. It's definitely not going to be as long as the main story. I know that for sure. Guess it's finally time to say goodbye to our evokers. Oh my god, Zeno, I love you. Kind of bums me out, but it's not like we got a use for him anymore. Yeah. 
Let's see. Two, four. Oh, wait. How many are there supposed to be? Ten. Right? No, wait. Makoto, Yukari, Junpei, Akihiko, Mitsuru, Fuka. Well, no, Fuka doesn't use an evoker, does she? And neither does Igis or Koro. So Ken, Shinji. So there should be seven? Wait. The protagonist? Yukari, Junpei, Akihiko, Mitsuru, Ken, and Shinji. Koro has his collar. I guess doesn't need an evoker. And then Fuka doesn't use one. Yeah, so seven plus Koro's collar. I guess. I guess. Uh, huh? I believe this is all of them. Nine? Did I miscount? Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? But you don't use an evoker. That's right. You had his for safekeeping. Oh, wait. <sighs> she had Makoto's? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. So there's nine? Plus the, the eight plus the collar? So I guess Fuka did use an evoker. Oh yeah, okay. I guess we just, we- Hey, come on. Let's not get all down in the dumps about it. I don't think- he would have wanted to see us like this. Yeah. Sorry. You're right. We've already said our goodbyes. It's just... I can't help wondering... Why? I don't know, man. There didn't seem to be anything wrong with him. It just looked like he fell asleep. Didn't it? Yeah. He must have used up the rest of his power to protect us at the final battle. Mm. I don't think it's worth speculating on the reasons. The one thing I feel certain of is that he wouldn't have blamed any of us for what happened. This, this extra sucks because in my original playthrough, the one I streamed and posted on my YouTube, I romanced I guess. So <laughs> this sucks even more because not only not only was Igus like one of the protagonist's closest friends, but in my version of the story, she was also his partner. So, uh, jeez, uh, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, I has got that right. Yeah, you know, I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, Igus. It's because all of her emotions of grief got manifested in the form of a different person. It really seemed like you cared about him more than anything in the world. Ah, stop. <laughs> I'm somewhat surprised as well. It's possible I won't feel the full impact until I'm settled back in at the lab tomorrow. By the way, for those of you who are curious, I already know the twist of the story in this one, as well as the twist of who Metis is, so if you don't know, then I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but... Huh? The lab? Are you planning on commuting from there next semester? Oh, no, I... I guess is returning to the lab for good. She won't be enrolling as a third year. Aww. Well, seriously? Why? It's been fine this whole time, hasn't it? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. No, it's okay, hon. I understand. I enjoy being with you all, but it's time for me to find my own way of life and join the shadow operatives and be one of the main protagonists in the weird arena fighting game spinoff <laughs> with my sister who has the strange accent. Oh, but don't worry. You can come visit me whenever you wish. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard Labrys talk? If you haven't played Arena or Arena Ultimax, you absolutely need to play it just for the sake of hearing Labrys' English dub at a voice. 
Oi, I guess, what are you doing here? You here to defeat the shadows? I'm Labrys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is legitimately how she talks. <laughs> Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten off track, but I didn't mean for this to be a sad occasion. I've ordered top quality sushi for us all. The same as last time, actually. Yay! Let's go! We may not have the full team with us, but let's have a nice dinner here tonight. Oh, that would be great! Top quality! <laughs> okay, Junpei, easy now. I mean, uh, no objections here. I'm also curious. You'll join in too, right, I guess? I'm curious if they're gonna address Chidori in this, because technically, I'm not really sure if. Of course, I won't miss this chance to spend more time with you all. I'm not sure if they're gonna make Chidori's revival canon or not. I mean, they did include it in the main story of Reload as like a given. As long as you finish all of Junpei's social link things, or his, sorry, his hangout episodes, because he doesn't have a social link. Um, if you do all of Junpei's hangout episodes, then Chidori will be revived at the end. But I'm not sure if they're gonna stick with that as the canon ending for their relationship or not. I'm also, I'm also curious to see how Metis is going to function in combat. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. Thank God. In spite of this, surveys have shown that the public's everyday stress levels remain high. That's a mood. According to an investigation by the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Wow, when did it get so late? It's almost midnight. Oh, it's almost time. It's hard to believe we passed the evening so quickly, even without doing anything in particular. Yeah, just hanging out. I suppose it's because sitting here with you all brings me back to the time we spent together. Oh, Mitsuru. I think I know what you mean. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself wanting to come back to it. Hmm. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I can't help but reminisce on those days. Yeah, the people, the places. It's funny, since, well, the things that happened back then weren't exactly pleasant. Yeah. I get you on the past and all, but isn't there something still off about the present? Well, it's funny you say that, Jinpei. I'm turning up the volume a little bit because I want to make sure you guys can hear them talk. I feel like everywhere I go, I see people goofing around like nothing else matters. You mean kind of like you used to be at the start of the main story? It's like Strega's dumb ideas never got out of their heads, you know? Hmm. I mean... Is that the kind of world we almost died to protect? <laughs> wow, you've really grown up, Junpei-san. Yeah, that's an understatement. I don't need to hear that from you. <laughs> it's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We may have prevented the fall, but there's only so much we can do to reform society. I'm, I'm so excited to play as, I guess, as, like, the playable protagonist. But I'm also excited to see Metis in combat because she's going to be fully playable finally, which she technically wasn't in The Answer. In The Answer, the combat style was still, you control the protagonist, I guess, but none of the party members are directly controllable. So, this is technically the first time Metis is going to be fully playable. Yeah, I guess. But still. I wonder what her passive abilities are going to be. And that's all for the weather. At the tone, 
The time will be 12 a.m. Oh, here we go. There we go. What was that? Right at midnight. No way. Is it the dark hour again? The abyss of time has begun. Nah, everything's fine out there. Wait, the news. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here are the latest news reports. Yep, you see the date in the corner? It didn't change. When it hit midnight, it stayed on the 31st. Huh? The 31st just ended, didn't it? Did the anchor misread the date? Jeez, man. Is that all it was? Well, I guess even the news people screw up every once in a while. <laughs> really had me going there for a second. <laughs> I was just thinking about the fact that it's the next day is April 1st, and this whole thing is like a huge April Fool's joke. <laughs> it's like Metis and the protagonist are like, ah, surprise, April Fool's. <laughs> surprise, here's some more trauma. <laughs> Weird. My phone says it's the 31st, too. So, like, it's got to be a false alarm, yeah? Uh, mm. That's a sensible assumption to make for now. I sure hope so, Junpei. But something felt off. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's getting late. We should probably call it a night. I know, we wanted to say goodbye to the dorm with the bang, but not like this. Um, would it be alright if I return to my room? I have preparations to make for the move tomorrow. Oh, of course. Good night, I guess. Good night. Night. <laughs> Jinpei. Uh... Less than three. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko. Just in case. I mean, I guess it makes sense that Yukari and Akihiko... close my eyes. Oh. I remember the last moment I spent with him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Dawn. Please continue. The day he fell asleep. We brought him back to our dorm. Fear beginning to well up within us. I apologize, Miss Bennett. Please continue. And the next morning, our fears became reality. It was lost to us. Mm. For some time after that, I fell into depression and began having the same dream night after night. Damn, I didn't know me and I guess were the same person. <laughs> That's a big mood, I guess. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. Hmm. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. Mm. But now, that promise can never be fulfilled. I'm also interested to hear um, Lizzie Freeman's performance, because I'm so used to Stephanie Shea's voice as Metis. Then one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a mysterious fog had lifted. <gasps> a mysterious fog? Is that a P4 reference? P4 remake confirmed? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, if they do remake another Persona game, it should honestly be the first or second game. I would personally think that a remake of P2 would be really cool. If they did like a remake where they combined both versions of the game, Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment, into like one game and modified the story slightly to be like a balance of social and dungeon crawling like three four and five that would be really cool and i would also just i just want to see aikichi in high definition <laughs> i stopped dreaming and i now no longer require sleep mm -hmm. it's almost as if an entire aspect of your personality broke off from you and became an entirely new person <sighs> It's no use. I can't sleep. 
Mood. Hey, this is where me and Igus, um... Can I really continue living like this? This is where I had my max rank with Igus, and we had weird robot sex. <laughs> oh, I feel bad saying that, but, I mean, technically it's... No, she just had Makoto touch whatever her core was. Wow, that honestly sounds even more inappropriate. <laughs> that sounds even more inappropriate. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Igor! A butterfly? You know what would have been really cool? If they found a way to integrate Theo into the remake, but as, like, part of episode, I guess. Like, a lot of times the, um... Velvet Room Attendant is the opposite gender of the the playable protagonist in like 3, 4, and 5. Because in, in the Femsi's playthrough of Portable, Theo is the alternate version of Elizabeth because he is Katone's um, Velvet Room Attendant. So it would be cool if Theo was somehow connected to Igus as her What's velvet room on? attendant. Oh. I guess, are you awake? Has the abyss already begun? Uh, yes. The door is open. I guess, come quick. We need you. Has something happened? I'm on my way. Are we under attack? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor suddenly opened up and there's a giant door in it. Anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Understood. It may have it's may it may have been a while since I played the answer, it. but that day I stopped dreaming. I remember what happened. That must have been when all this actually began. Mm-hmm. <sighs> What's going on? Are you okay? <gasps> there she is! Be careful, Igus. Whatever it is, it's not human. There she is! It's baby girl! <laughs> Hi, Metas! Yay! She's here! I missed you! It's been like 20 years! <laughs> Meadows. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Meadows. I've come to protect you. Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. Therefore, I will eliminate them. Uh, no you will not. What are you saying? I won't let you hurt them! Then I have no choice. I can't let you interfere. It's for your own good. Oh, the red clouds. Stand aside. Let's go, protagonist, I guess. Oh my god, where did all my items go? Level 20? <laughs> I was level 90. All of my party members were 90 or higher. Carryovers save my ass. I think. Play. Oh no, wait, Athena. Oh shit. Oh, there's Psyche! Okay, 
there. Oh, oh, Psyche looks so cool. Ooh. Tough break, Mattis. So it's come to this. Is that? Oh. Even this. I guess. She's using Orgia mode. Must be eliminated. No! Makoto. I won't let this happen again. Oh. Let's go. Orpheus. What? How on earth? You know, I was just no! just yesterday. I was thinking about the the fact that um, oh, there you go, Orpheus. The fact that Igus and <gasps> Igor. Good morning, and welcome to my velvet room. Ah, it appears we have a very rare guest indeed. Hi, Igor. Are you human, or merely humanoid? Uh, that second one. <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Where... where am I? Who are you? <laughs> he is the man of the long nose. The long nose man. Ah, forgive my madness. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is my assistant Elizabeth. We both reside here in the Velvet Room. The Velvet Room. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Hi, Liz. This place exists between mind and matter. It is a room for those who have forged a contract. Contract. Yes. In awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. Henceforth, you shall be our guest in the Velvet Room. Yes. Wild card? Surely you know that of which I speak. 
the ability to wield multiple personas and their powers. It is like the number zero, empty but holding infinite possibilities. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. Are you saying that you knew him? Makoto. Indeed, I did. He achieved a marvelous thing, finding the answer to life. The answer to life? The truth about its ending. The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. <gasps> the answer! Roll quad credits. If Fuck I were to find this answer, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer. Ah, he said and the thing. find it at the journey's end. Ah, he said it twice. <laughs> if you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. Door coon. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. Huh. Well then, I mustn't hold you here any longer. It would appear that an ordeal is about to unfold upon your return. That feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Oh, I'm sure. Please take this. Oh, the velvet key! Yeah, I knew it. It would be best if you came here off your own free will next time. Until then, farewell. Bye, Igor. I once made a choice to live. So much has changed since then, myself included. If this new power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is death? Well, I mean, that's part of the answer, but... I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Yukari! Hi! And I guess already has her toaster outfit on. Oh. There she is, with the toaster slot in her forehead. She will burn your bread. Oof. Ugh, that high note. Jesus Christ. Cut that. Cut that out. Hi, Koro. I love you. You baby boy. I guess... What have you done to me? I am a toaster. What in the goddamn? <laughs> I think you all have taken the burn your bread memes a little bit too far. Glad to see you awake. Thanks, Jack. You really scared us passing out like that. Mm. Yukari-san. Hi, Yukari. Mitsuru-senpai asked me to come just in case, and I get caught up in something like this? As, I mean, listen, I don't know what to tell you, girl. I just, it's... Come on, seriously? Shit like this just comes out of nowhere. I'm sorry for worrying you. Hmm? What's all this? It's drip. It's your drip upgrade. While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. Hmm. We found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I see. Oh, my goodness. It still sucks, though, getting bossed around by her like that. Bossed around by who, Mitsuru? That girl told us. You want to protect oh, Metis. Okay. You should put that on her. Sorry. 
because I was about to say, I was like, getting bossed around by Mitsuru actually sounds kind of nice. <laughs> There she is. <gasps> Aki! Hey, sounds like you've had a rough time. Hi, Aki. Welcome back. He's still got that fucking bandage on his head. <laughs> he just never takes it off. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. Yeah, you better be. Hi, Meadows. How you doing? I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. Hmm. Man, why do you gotta bust things up like that? It's my turn to clean the place today. I mean, Junpei, I don't think you're gonna be able to do much about the frickin' punch marks in the wall. <laughs> she literally cracked the stone. <laughs> You quit it with a silent treatment and say something. <laughs> mm. huh? Sleepy time. Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? Oh. There she is. Uh, I. Yeah, so what I was saying is it's it's really interesting that Igus and Metis have like completely contrasting designs like the colors on their characters are completely different like i guess has black joints she has white and gold body parts she has blonde hair and blue eyes whereas metis has white joints an entirely black body with red and gold accents she has red eyes and black hair so metis is almost in complete inverse of Igus's design in only color alone and it's just it's it's so interesting it's so interesting you're looking pretty comfy there guess you don't think of us humans as much of a threat huh it's just i was tired after going into orgia mode so Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. You don't need to restrain me. I won't attack anyone anymore. Why the sudden change of heart? You can't expect us to trust you without an explanation. Yeah. Well, it's... It's because... I thought you wouldn't like me if I did. What? Huh? Let's release her. I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of attacking us any further. Besides, if she's really like me, then the restraints won't hold her anyway. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good point. Yep, there you go. Seriously? And all those friggin' non-stop shifts were for nothing? <laughs> First, tell us who you are and your purpose in being here. My name is Metis. As you can see, you and I are essentially sister units. In fact, you are the reason why I'm here. I've come to save you from this hopeless situation. Hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? Speaking of which, how long was I asleep? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. But it's still the 31st. Yet today is still March 31st. What did I just say? Tomorrow and all the days after it will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it? The moment time looped? Looped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Yes. Then, 
Are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? Yes. That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm either. That makes two ways we're trapped here. What? But how could that... Both space and time are being distorted by the abyss of time beneath us. The... abyss of time? I'm also interested to see how they change the designs of the Abyss of Time dungeons. It's difficult to explain. It'd be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please, follow me. Hey! Who made you the boss? Oh, new music! Let's go! I also like what? the fact that, like, the butterfly thing on Metis is almost like a skirt. This is the abyss of time. Hmm. It's uncharted territory that I believe spreads underground, much like the roots of a tree. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? How could a tower have appeared where the school was? It's wibbly wobbly timey wimey night magic shit at first the abyss of time was just a small self-contained space but then one day it started growing rapidly and eventually spread to your dorm hmm. it's clear just by looking at it that this place wasn't man-made supernatural it might be the product of some dangerous power just like tartarus was Mm -hmm. oh, sheesh. Haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff already? I haven't. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I haven't. I'm not sure words alone can fully convey what's happening. But the flow of time here is abnormal. I wonder if they kept the Margaret boss fight. They prop they might have cut it out considering that mm, I don't know that's why time is looping and why you can't leave the dorm hmm the only solution is to find a way to somehow eradicate the abyss of time eradicated how are we supposed to do that by defeating Erebus I've already tried the simplest method that has the highest probability of success Eliminating all of you. The abyss of time is linked to this storm, as if drawn to it. And for some reason, you are the only ones who can perceive the time loop. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Everybody else is completely unaware. Clearly, there is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening. So that's why you attacked? To eliminate us? What the hell? We've never even heard of this place before! If there is another way, it can only be found by entering the Abyss of Time. Hmm. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. It's Erebus. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? Oh, what a surprise. That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Igis. <laughs> My sister won't get hurt. Hold on. You're joking, right? Are you seriously telling us that we have to risk our lives again like we did with Tartarus? Yep. Never mind that. How are we supposed to just believe whatever you say and jump into that freaky place blind? Well, do you have a better plan? The basement of your dorm is an infinite abyss. Time is looping, and you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? We're stuck here long enough and we run out of food. Are we going to starve to death? <laughs> Jumpe. Immediately undercut the drama. The situation continues. 
Things could get worse. This is your only option if you want to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive. But you attacked us the minute you saw us. You must understand that we can't simply entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Igis, but what's in it for you? What's in it for me? I'm doing this because I care about her. I mean, she's all I have. About that, your story doesn't fit the facts. Oh, it's almost as if she just suddenly appeared one day with no explanation. Oh. I guess was the last of her series. No other units were produced after her. And on top of that, it bothers me that you talk like you've been in the abyss of time from the start. I thought this was supposed to be uncharted territory that was unconnected to the outside world until recently. Huh? Huh? W well. Aren't you supposed to be an anti shadow weapon anyway? Attacking us humans to save Igis doesn't make sense. That's. I. Um. Well? We're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. You better not be thinking you can get away with pulling a fast one on us again. Enough about me! What good is knowing any of this anyway? Besides, haven't I already told you that there's no time to waste? Now follow me. Or are you giving up so soon? Because if you are... You should have just let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? Uh. You're right. We may have no choice but to enter this place. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? Without me? <laughs> You couldn't possibly. You, you need me. I know the most about the Abyss, and... As if. What do you know about what we need? We all risk our lives for each other. If you think so little of my friends, then you can't come with us. Hell yeah, you tell her, I guess. No. You're gonna have to learn some power of friendship if you want to come with us. Might suck, but if that's how you're gonna be, then we'll just leave you here by yourself. Uh, I... myself? Oh, I'm not happy with that. If you'd rather be our enemy, then we can settle things right here. Well, well, we don't have to go that far. Fuka, I love you, but this, this, this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. So please don't leave me. Even if you change your tune now, it's not like we're going to start trusting you. But still, though, maybe it's true that all she really wants is to protect Igis son. Well, Senpai, should we take her with us? Because if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Okay, everyone, listen up. It seems that once again, we must engage in both exploration and battle. Uh -huh. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as the leader, approve of it, then I have no objections to Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san. 
If you want to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Yep, yep, that's the deal. Whatever happens, you can't hurt my friends. Can you promise me that? Yes, I promise. <laughs> this better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru Senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I it's, honestly don't know. Yeah, you got me. I get. Yeah. When I thought we might lose someone else, I got scared. And suddenly. Menace, was it? Do you know anything about this? Nope. I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask them? Um. Well, you see, it's because, uh, she, um, yeah, he, um, um, he turned into a door. If we're going to end up fighting again, we better make sure we're outfitted properly. Well, as far as the school records are concerned, you and I are technically still Gekko-Kan students. Yamagishi, could I ask you to retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and as for the things we found when the floor opened up, I put them in the command room. So I'll look into them once I have a chance. Things on the floor, huh? Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... Eh? Yeah. I, I promise to listen to what you say, so... Could I call you my sister? <sighs> Go right ahead. Thank you, sister. No. <laughs> That's cute. Stop. That's cute. <laughs> the abyss of time, a strange and mysterious dimension. Until we find the reason for its presence, we'll be unable to leave. We must start looking to its depths at once. Every time I get geared up, my brain gets into this mindset, like, time to get it done. <laughs> you know? It's a remix. <laughs> nice. No, actually, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm just happy I get a match with my sister. Hers doesn't have a number on it. She got all pouty the moment we changed clothes. Who would have thought she just wanted an armband? <laughs> this doesn't make you one of us, though. Still, it's a good thing you've got one on. This way, I can get a detailed read on your vitals. When Metis's theurgy is maxed, her theurgy orgia mode can be used. Metis, yep. Overheat, yep. Same as Igus's. Extras prepared. I didn't expect we would need them again. Well, is everyone ready to start exploring? Are we missing anything? I don't think so, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Junpei here might not, but what about the rest of you? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it, but something does feel off. Agreed. Something's not sitting quite right. They've all got... They're, they're all having a Han Solo moment. Huh? I'm the only one hyped? Wait, hold up. I definitely feel something. I think... Maybe... Nope. Yamagishi, have there been any changes to our readings? Um, well, I don't know how to put this, but... They're indicating that everyone's strength has weakened significantly. 
which may prove to be an impediment. Oh yeah, there it is. Well, uh, ain't that like really bad for us? Is it because of that abyss of time thing? Yeah, we all got God of War. I don't seem to be affected. Are you sure it's not simply because you're all weak? Oh, we're weak, are we? Save it for later, Akihiko. <laughs> so if it's not because of the abyss, does it have something to do with us? We did take a step back from fighting for a while, so that's probably the biggest factor. Oh, well, that is true. They did stop for like two months, was it? Yeah, because the last time they had a serious fight was the end of January, so... More importantly, your persona's output is currently unstable, so their abilities are partially limited right now. Well, at least there's a canon explanation for why everybody got weakened. Maybe we just forgot how to fight? Does muscle memory even go away? Not that it really matters. All we can do right now is work with what we've got. Easy for you to say, but I guess you're nervous too, aren't you? <gasps> yeah. Right? I don't know. Seems like it'll be pretty rough. You have nothing to worry about, sister. I'll be there for you. Well, now that we've established the situation at hand, I'd like to set expectations a bit before we head out. I should operate on my own to find out whether or not there's more to those materials we found underground. Flying solo, huh? I guess you are the only one who can identify that sort of thing, though. What are they talking about? I'll regroup with everyone once I learn more. There's something else I want to look into as well, so it's more efficient for the team to progress without me there. Your objective is to see if the Abyss of Time connects to anywhere else besides the dorm. And since we don't know how much time this will take, it's imperative that we secure our supply rooms. Oh, in that case, kind of seems like a job for Koromaru, don't it? I mean, he's sharper than a human. You know, with his sense of smell and all. <laughs> Yeah? Your game, bud? I'm a little worried about us being weaker than usual, though. So, how about I come with you? <laughs> Cute. Alright, I'll let the two of you handle that, then. Iori, Koromaru, and I will go about our own tasks. Everyone else, follow Igus's command and focus on exploring. I'm counting on you, Igus. Yes, ma'am. And I as well. Give it the best you've got, I guess. Let's head out once you've decided on our course of action. If we want to make progress, then we better get to it. <gasps> oh my gosh! Playable, I guess. Let's go! The door won't budge. Storage room. Yep. Hi, Metis. Can I at least go upstairs? Ooh. This was his room. The store won't open. Sonata's room. Aragaki san used to live here. Where's Matt? I guess it's room. Oh, here it is. This is my room. Yeah. Can I go in the meeting hall? All of the consoles are powered off. Mm. Bam, bam. Oh, oh, there's the dash. Oh, okay. 
Oh my god, listen to the sound of her, her running. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> uh, that's kind of adorable, honestly. <laughs> How you doing, Ken? So, um... I feel like it's not just my Persona's abilities that were affected. I can't handle my weapon as well as I used to either. I guess battling is kind of like studying. You have to keep at it if you want to maintain a certain level of aptitude. Oh, that's her. Precisely. It doesn't seem as though this problem will simply resolve itself. We might have to fight. Don't worry, whatever the cause may be, we'll overcome it. We've already saved the world once, after all. That said, I'll be investigating on my own. I'll leave the rest to you, I guess. Aki! Not good. Slacking off on training can impact both boxing and actual battles. It's too bad I've fallen out of practice. I'll have to work harder to get back to where I was before. Hey. So that abyss of time down there is what caused all this, huh? Guess we'll have to go in and try and figure it out. Sounds like no one has a clue what's really in there, but that's all the more reason to go in. Hi. I guess there's something I wanted to ask you. Is it possible that you can no longer activate Orgea mode? Um... I thought something was off when I was backing you up. As for what's causing it, well... It doesn't look like you're malfunctioning, but how should I put it? It's almost as if you forgot how to activate it. Sorry. Sorry, that sounds a bit silly. It's almost as if it got passed off to a different person. Me. Um, do you need me to explain anything? So you see. Uh, the weapon I wield is different from yours. It's heavy with some range. My persona's name is Psyche. Unlike you, I can only summon one, but I don't lack for strength. Bark. I can't understand what Koro is trying to say anymore. It's as though he wishes to head into the abyss and explore. Kind of worried about what could happen in there, but Koro and I will check things out. Leave finding supplies to us. You just concentrate on exploring. That's a list of dorms. No new names will be added anymore. Mm. There's a computer here, but there's no need to use it right now. Oh, so the does the computer still work? No plans past tomorrow. Yep. Is that everybody? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh! 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 Again! Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! That's so cool! No. No quests, social links, or calendars anymore. There she is! Metis! 25. Dang, everybody really did get decreased in power. Theurgy. After being shifted to by Icus. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, look at Psyche! God, the design on this persona is incredible. Okay, so she has... Ice, slash, strike, buffing, nullif- okay, debuffing, buffing. No elemental weaknesses at all? Really? Dang. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't take her out of my party. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so we have Yukari, Aki, Ken, and Metas. Okay. Cool, cool. And we have Orpheus. Oh! All of the new... Oh my god. That's so cool! All the new animations for Aegis. It's fucking awesome, man. I lost all my weapons, too. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, well. 
I guess there's only th only thing left to do is... Oh my god! Uh, they cleared out all the stuff in the kitchen! There we go. Alright. I guess let's go in. Hi. Are you ready to start exploring? Let's go. <gasps> Makoto! Wait, they... Come on, it looked just like Makoto. I know he was like Shadow, but... Come on. What's going on? I'm not sure either. It all happened so quickly. Good job, Metis. Good job. Why not start our exploration here then? Not like we have much else to go on. Couldn't hurt to pursue anything suspicious. All right, then I'll leave this to you. Be careful in there. Thank you, Mitsuru. That's right, Junpei. Junpei Koro <laughs> Metis. Okay, can I now? Can I modify my team? Okay, I can now. Okay, cool, cool. Um, hmm. So I definitely want to bring Metis with me, but who else should I bring? So Metis has ice. She doesn't have wind yet. Is she going to learn wind eventually for her persona? Because I think I remember in the original version of the answer, she had wind and ice magic. So for now, she just has ice. Yukari still has... Let me check. Okay. Wind, healing, lightning. Put lightning and light. Uh, for now, let's do Yukari, Aki, and Metis. And then we can bring Ken in later on. Yeah. And Junpei. Let me and Koro take care of this. Yeah. Okay. That should be good for now. All right. Let's go. What? That dark figure. It went in here, right? You don't think that was... Oh, I'm uh, so sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. That This appears to be the first door. I wonder what we'll find. Well, if we don't go through it, we can't do anything. Mm -hmm. I suppose we have no choice. Are you ready? Let's go. It feels like an ordinary building. I'm gonna take a quick look. Could it be? These readings. Shadows. I'm sensing multiple shadows. Hey, there she is. Hi, Metis. All right. Oh, she's doing the Naruto run. There's a shadow directly ahead of you. It doesn't seem to have noticed you yet, though. Can I shoot him? If there's enough distance between you and the shadow, I don't think they'll notice you. You can fire by pressing square in combat. Okay. Striking is a chance encounter. Oh, okay, I see. An auto target. Ooh, interesting. Oh my god! Mm. I didn't know that there was a new battle theme! Oh my god! Thank you, Lord, for Lotus Juice. Okay. 
should I do? Nice. Kind of reminds me of the um, starting area from uh, Tartarus. Light. So I'm gonna guess dark. Nice, Aki. <laughs> nice, Aki. Nice. Keep fighting for him. Uh... Oh, we can go down from here. <laughs> Shinji. <laughs> um... I miss you, baby. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt my soul. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can dash. Look at me go! Sister, look what I can do! Come, Naruto, want, Naruto run with me, sister! <laughs> I love it. It's as I feared. This place is just like Tartarus. And that thing we saw earlier, I have a bad feeling. Please proceed with caution. Let's stick together, sister. Okay. There's a shadow. Gotcha. Time for a fight. How's everyone feeling? Did they do a remix of Mass Destruction too? Hello? So good. There it grow. At a girl, Yukari. Nice. Um, I already have this one. glaring uh, okay <laughs> thanks for being honest i guess <laughs> what enemy spotted we'll win the shelter they need to stop cooking on the music it's too much Critical hit. Nice. Keep it going, Get you for that. I can do 
took all my money away too so Ooh, that's slightly different I thought it would be the exact same one as in the main right, story but just with the armor on oh my god the transitions into the menu are so good <laughs> oh my goodness man if this is if the If the designs in this game are already so overwhelming, I can't even imagine how much I'm gonna freak out when Metaphor comes out. Because that game already looks like beautiful. Forgetting the button for the map. By the way. Oh, I guess I wanted to mention something. I'm sure you know about this, but please keep an eye on everyone's health, and if their health gets low, make sure they recover. As long as we work together, I know we'll be fine. We're counting on you, leader. Gotta keep moving. That's to be expected from my like sister. Of course. Never underestimate my sisters. Ooh, hold on. Ooh, it does like a spread shot. When you're when you're dashing, it does like a dash attack where it Oh, that's so fucking cool. Let me see if I can use that. Hold on. Here we go. Filthy monster. We'll see we'll enemy detected. No. Okay. Lightning. What do you think, Cocky? Okay. Oh, ice! Let's go. Good job, Metis. We still haven't seen her finishing touch, though, so... Once we get the chance, I, I would like to, I would like to see that. I would like to see that. Nice. Yeah, sorry, it still does that. All these years, and it still does that. How dare you use that move against Akihiko? Oh, 
Psyche! Nice. Get him, Aki. Baby, 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 I've actually been playing um, P5 Royal again recently, and P4 Gold, actually. So, <laughs> every once in a while, I'll forget how certain things work. Like, in and out of battle, like how to activate the map in this game, because in, I think in P5 you have to press the touchpad, if I remember correctly. But I just want to show you guys real quick. This is... Oh, that's cool! They have metas! When you're on the DLC. Wow. That artwork is really good. But this is what... <laughs> this is what my main page looks like. <laughs> Just all three modern Persona games right in front. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm also replaying them to get ready for Metaphor. Because Metaphor honestly seems like it's basically going to be fantasy Persona. Or like Persona and SMT together. Which, hey. Not a bad thing. Ice and lightning. Okay. Nice. And then we're going to pass it to... Metas. And then we're gonna knock this guy down. Nice. Now, here we go. There she is. Let's see. Very cool. All right. All right. That went well. Okay, so we're going this way. This might be a way forward. What's the plan? Ooh. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Thank you, Fuka. Gotcha. All right, let's I'm do this. Still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Maybe next time. Nope. Get to see Madison's finishing touch again. God, Psyche looks so fucking cool. How is it possible that Metis has one of the coolest persona designs in the entire series? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think. Yeah. Anything for her? Yes, it did, Aki. So I think if I'm thinking about persona designs, Metis, Metis is Psyche. That might be one of the coolest. From P3, I think also I would say Nemesis, Caesar, Isis, uh, Isis, Artemisia, which is Mitsuru's second persona. 
and Hypnos, just because of how creepy it looks, but like in a good way. It matches with Takaya perfectly. And then from four, I would say probably Sakuya, which is Yukiko's first persona. And then Sumeratsu Hiragi, which is the second Naoto persona. And probably Rokuten Mao, which is Kanji's second persona. And then from five, I would say probably Satanael, um, Mercurius, uh, Celestine. Um, the designs in P5 are almost all of them are incredible. Um, Ashtarte, Loki, and Vanities. Which is interesting because a lot of the Persona 5 designs, I actually like their second Personas more than the final ones. I think the... Fire and Lightning. I think the only one I like more than... There you go, Aki. I think the only third tier personas I like more than um, the second ones are Yusuke's, which is Gorokichi, and then Ans. I really do not like, um, I don't like the third persona for, um, Haru. I think the design of, um, the design for Ashtarte is vastly superior to Melody. Um, no, no, not Melody. What's the name of her third persona? Lucy. That's right. Ashtarte's design is vastly superior to Lucy. Um, Hervard is fine. Um, I like Loki more, though, because it matches with Akechi's personality better. Uh, ooh, nice, Yukari, nice. Nice. That's my girl. Um... And then, I think Vanities, out of all three of Sumire's personas, is the best one. Um, and then I would say... Yeah, I like Mercurius for... Give me a second, Akihiko. I like Mercurius for Morgana. Then Raul is kind of cool for Joker. I definitely like Saitan Taisei for Ryuji more than William. Um, Celestine is fine. Uh, Gorokichi is also fine. I would like Anat more than um, Makoto's other two personas. And then Futaba's, you know, that one's not a huge deal because she, she's a support character, so you don't really see her persona very often. I definitely like Akihiko's Caesar looks way better than Polydeuce's. <laughs> Polydeuce's design is always, I've always thought it was really weird. And I also think it's because in um, the version for Shinjiro looks better because Akihiko and Shinji's personas are essentially the same design, but um, Caster is like Pollux with like a, a black color scheme on a horse as opposed to Pollux, which is mostly white, gold, and light blue. But I think the design looks better in Shinji's case because the black and the gray looks better on the character design. And the horse in the lower half also makes it look cooler. Because the kind of like lighter colors and the like needle on Polydeuce's arm just always made him look like super dorky for me personally. So. But I mean, in both cases, Pollux and Caesar, they have those tiny hands, which just look. We don't need to head back yet, right? Let's keep going. Which just look dorky in any case. <laughs> um. It's one of those chests. I think Athena is definitely better looking than Palladion, for Igus. Um. 
I like Nemesis more than Colin Emmy for Ken, honestly. Uh, so we got fire, lightning, and wind. Okay. Nice. Another thing that's been messing me up is the fact that in Persona 5, the shift for the baton pass is R2, but in this game, the baton pass, aka shift, is L2. So whenever I'm, I play both games, I'm always like, uh, d <laughs> like I have to <laughs> alternate between the two. And it keeps messing up, messing me up. Also, I don't know if this is a, another controversial thing, but I really do not like, um, what's it called? Uh, Akechi's Black Mask uniform. I, <laughs> I know this is a weird thing to say, but I actually think his Prince uniform looks better. <laughs> I mean, both of them are really dorky, but the Black Mask uniform is just so, like, it looks like something that someone pulled out of, like, the design document of a teenager from the early 2000s who was into emo culture. Like, it looks like something I would have designed when I was in middle school. <laughs> Which I this guess... Might be a way forward. That does kind of match with the catchy's whole thing, because he basically is, like, if Shadow the Hedgehog was a person. <laughs> he's, he's like a walking edgelord, so I guess that kind of does match with his personality. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Wait! This reading! You're getting closer to a strong presence. Please be careful. Gotta keep moving. So we got a floor boss, or I guess a basement boss in this case. That's what they call me, the basement boss. Fire? Nope. Okay. How about we... How about lightning? No? Okay. Ice? Oh! He... I got freeze. Nice! That's my girl. Okay, I want to see what um, I want to see what Metasis or Gia mode looks like. Ooh. 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 Oh my! Oh my! Oh my God! Hello. Holy shit! Oh my God, Metis! <laughs> They gave her like a. They gave her like a whole fucking. Um, <laughs> they gave her like a whole fucking Sakuga fight scene moment. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! Whoever whoever designed the cutscene for Metasis the Urgy attack, they were a huge fan of her character. They were like, bro, I am sick and tired of her not getting enough love. Place? I'm uh, making her theurgy look fucking awesome. Okay, Aki. Shit! Missed. I am glad that they added in the, um... What's it called? The target thing? Because I remember in the original version of the answer, it was really hard... Gotcha, Metis. Uh, 
Are you hearing Lotus Juice in the background? Bro, my man is just... killing it. Oh yeah! Baby, baby! Oh yeah! Baby, baby! Yeah, need more personas. That's how it's done. Nice. I have a feeling by the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna be like so sick of hearing her say sister. <laughs> Do I have. Oh god, that's so fucking cool. Damn, that is so cool. Um, I wanted to check. Cadenza. Okay, so she has Cadenza. Okay, so the. Yeah. So it looks like, um,. All of the party members lost their second Theurgy attacks as well, so... I'm hoping that we will unlock them again later on. <gasps> Come here. You're not gonna you bitch. I have personal beef with the Wealth Hands because of, um... What's it called? P4 Golden. I've been fighting them non-stop in P4 Golden, and I'm just so freaking aggravated by them because they keep on... Casting innervation and causing me to not be able to act, and then they run away, and essentially the whole battle was a waste of time. Mm. Not letting them get away. Come here. Get him, Yukari. Nice. Nice. Got a boy, Aki. The fact that the the music changes whether or not you get the jump on the enemy. Like if you if you sneak up on them without them noticing, it's this music. But if they see you before you attack, you get the remix of mass destruction. It was the same in the main game too. I'm just saying, it's cool. Mm, maybe light or dark or slash lightning. He's weak to lightning. Let's try... Let's try Slash. I'm gonna shift to Metas and see if, um... The, if the Lions are weak to Slash damage. Nope. Okay. They have to be weak to Light or Dark, then. That's all good. 
I don't think I have any light or dark spells though. I'm gonna try freezing. No. How's everybody's health? Okay, we're all good. Can I try... Let me see if I can do a status ailment on one of them. Oh, man. Alright. <laughs> That's kind of cool that, um... When Metis gets attacked, you can sa It sounds like somebody's smacking like a machine. <laughs> I'm gonna get a critical. Oh, okay. No, I don't have any light or dark yet. Okay. I just gotta, gotta beat him the old fashioned way then. Yes, we do, Fuka. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Come on, give me that freeze. Damn it. I'm not gonna waste a three urgy on one enemy. Is she saying she lost her keys? Is that what is. Huh. I thought that's what she said, but all right, who's next? <laughs> oh god, Alejandro had fun with that one. <sighs> who's next? It almost sounded like Kronk for a second there. <laughs> all right, Shinji. Why don't you uh, rejoin Seas? We uh, know how to destroy the Dark Hour. Let's keep going. The uh, members of Striga, we uh, have to stop them. It's been some time since we've done this, but I'm getting less nervous about it. I can't let myself get too relaxed either, though. I'll stay vigilant. Hmm. Thank you, Fuka. I love you. I want to see what Metis's um idle animation is. Give me a second. Okay. Alright. That's one. Fairly basic. Okay. Does she have an alternate? Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, fairly basic. I like it though. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? Did you guys know that in um, P5 Royal, the only character that does not have an idol animation is a catchy. Even after his true nature is revealed and he joins you in the third semester, he still does not have an idol animation. Even Sumire has one. And she's only fully available. Nice, cut in. And Sumire's only fully available as a party member in the final semester. And even she has idle animations. But Akechi does not. Both in Sai's palace and when he rejoins you for Maruki's palace, he has no idle animations whatsoever. He just stands there locked in the whole time. Which, honestly, also does kind of match with his personality. He would be the kind of person who would stay completely focused on battle the whole time. 
And honestly, that's kind of an interesting way to guess to his true nature in the um, casino level. Because if you notice back then, he still doesn't have an idle animation. So you'll notice and you'll be like, huh, I wonder why the charismatic detective prince is being so serious right now. It's because he's not actually a charismatic detective prince. It's because he's kind of unhinged. But in an interesting way. You know? Help me out, Oracle. Thank you, Puka. Should I use... Should I use Lightning Spike? Yeah, fuck it. Get him, Aki. I thought that might not kill for a second. A new skill. I'm gonna have to try it out. Did I do a good job, sister? Nice work, everyone. Ooh, Meta's got Marin Karen. That's the way forward. Let's go. Another one from Metis. How did I do, sister? Good teamwork, everyone. Now on to the next. Thank you, Aki. All right, what's over here? Ooh, one of the bigger areas. Freaking lions, man. I hate fighting these things. What is this? Restores 50% and raises accuracy. You see that... <laughs> I never actually used Cadenza. <laughs> I mean, if I did, I don't remember doing it in the original version. I just... Not, I didn't use Makoto's theurgies until he got an offensive one. Basically, never used Cadenza. What is it is time. Now's the time. Don't you make me do this. Don't you make me do this. I've got you. Marin Karen. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Is optimal. 
expect with me. Let's do it! Ooh, nice. Critical hit. Yeah, this is one of those big ass rooms. Oh, a treasure. Look, look, a treasure chest. It's one of those chests. Something over here. Oh, it's just another interesting. Okay. There's a shadow. Should we go back just to okay, be safe? So we got a return point. Well, I mean, I can start from level six if I want, right? Because I kind of want to swap out and add Ken so that he doesn't fall behind in terms of like leveling. I can swap. Yeah. Since Ken has uh, healing abilities as well, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, the other party members really aren't here. Hmm. The layout will be a bit of time. Shrimp, shrimp. Treasure chest you've already found can be rediscovered. Oh, hello. Um, not quite yet. I don't have any SP items. Mm. Well, we still have we still have some SP, so go to the deepest explorer. So we're starting from six, right? Okay, yes. let's make some progress. Awesome. It's an enemy. We've got the upper hand. We have the chance to hit first. Nice, okay. The persona's ready. Nice. I don't have any wind magic. Fuck. I should have swapped you, Kari, with Aki instead of Ken. Why did you make me do this? Fuck. Stop it with that. To be completely honest, I kind of want to immediately go back. You appear to be much shorter in stature compared to the others. And swap. Well, that's just because they're older than me. 
I'm not short for my age. Yukari and Aki. Your age. I comprehend. Yeah. Do I have any go homes? I do not. Oh, there is a return pad though. Okay. I just gotta get past this guy. Oh, there it is. Oh fuck, these guys again. Please be weak to light. Can I can I knock them down with Ken? Dot has one. Please. Let's go. Get him, Ken. Nice. Teamwork, everyone. Now on to the next. Um. Sorry. Okay, there we go. This way. Should we go back just to be safe? Um. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do this. So Yukari can and that us. There we go. Going to save. Nice. All right, there we go. Um. Let's get going. You on our way, so we need to stay close to each other. All right, sister. Okay. <gasps> Twilight fragment. There we go. Uh -oh. Looks like that one will be. We'll be, sister. Stay on the next. Ben? Light? Okay. Hold the 
I also think it's cool the fact that Metis's um, Orgia mode is like a reddish pink instead of the blue that I guess had. That's cool. Game Ken. Second move, same as the first. What is optimal? Persona. Just okay. And now, Should I do? Nice. Teleporters are found throughout the abyss. Return to the Sea of Doors. <laughs> Heading back could be a good idea if you find yourself stuck. Okay. There's a return pad. Got it. Okay. I've been thinking about that thing we saw. It's not a shadow, is it? Now that we finally have a lead, let's find out where it takes us. Hmm. Is wait, is that like a is that a one way teleporter or is this a like um. Okay, that was a one way one. It's not one of the bigger ones where you can teleport from one to the other. Um I feel like I'm gonna fight a boss soon. Huh? Mm, that would be a good way to end though. I want to risk it. 
Yeah, I'm pretty close on Theurgy for all four characters. Yukari and Menace are pretty low on SP, though. Mm, I could also start next time with the boss fight and just grind in the abyss with the earlier floors so that I'm not as squishy in my spare time. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head back. And I'm gonna go up to um, the dorm so I can regenerate my SP. I believe the abyss has spread beneath us like the roots of a tree. Basically, it branches out in various directions, going deeper and deeper. And the area right below us is the Desert of Doors. Each door there seems to lead to a different place. We should be able to use them to traverse to other areas. Okay. Interesting. And then... Oh, I, did I talk to Fuku? How are you? The member's not here. Kirijo is looking for anything that could give us a clue. This is just a theory, but I think the area below the lounge was originally a storage space. However, because the Abyss of Time appeared, whatever was stored down there got all jumbled. Junpei and Koro are looking for access that we could use to get supplies. <laughs> Since they're not planning to go far, they'll be alright. Okay, so I feel like Mitsuru, Junpei, and Koro are going to come back later. Now can I head back Hi. in? Yes. Okay, cool. And then, can I go into furthest D explore? Okay. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop then. And we will start with the boss next time. So yeah, that's the start of episode Igus, and I'm definitely going to be streaming this more, um, since P3 Reload was one of my favorite series in terms of um, streaming. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.